You may notice that I'm throwing a full head joint all the way around the end of the brick. This perhaps is just about as important as a piece of flashing in the wall or, or house wrap on the side of the house or, or really anything else. If you get a nice full head joint in all the masonry that you lay it, which obviously a man can't get every joint 100% full, but if that's your goal, then you're going to stop a lot of the water at the face of the wall. It'll never make its way through. But notice as I lay this brick, in order to speed themselves up, and I guess rightfully so in some ways because masons get paid by the piece most of the time, whatever mortar comes off the end of that brick as it's laid, the mason will take that and with the next brick throw a quick what I call speed joint or clip joint and lay the next brick. It's much faster to just throw that one, throw, throw that first joint on there and it only goes back, if you can see, maybe a third of the way. That is faster, but we've done some testing at a lab in South Carolina. We built about 20 panels one time and I want you to know that from eight to 64 times as much water got through the walls that we built with a clip joint or a speed joint as opposed to one with a nice full joint like you see here on this corner brick. If you'll fill up that joint, you'll stop much of the water getting into the house. Now I'm gonna take these two back up and butter the ends properly. Might add too, as, as you notice me laying these brick, it's an architectural brick or a tumbled brick which really makes a beautiful job, but with the characteristics that it has, uh, it's so irregular that it's very hard for the mason to lay, but the end result is very beautiful.